Hello again everyone, bringing you guys another video here. This time we are playing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, the demo for the Wii U. Um, it just came out today, which is February 21st, 2013. So if you guys haven't checked out this demo yet, I do really recommend you guys go and check this out. Especially if you are a Monster Hunter fan. So getting things started off right away. Uh, so you get two quests for this demo, which is Hunt Lagombi. I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce the names, uh, but yeah, this is the easy quest, and then you have Plesioth, which is the hard quest for the demo here. But I'm not going to really go too much into the demo itself, rather the, uh, rather I'm going to be going into the, the weapons and equipment through this game. You get the sword and shield, dual blades, the great sword, the long sword, you get the hammer, you get the hunting horn, the lance, the gun lance, the switch axe, the light bow gun, the heavy bow gun, and the bow. So those are all of the weapons that you can play in this game. Uh, they did add all of the weapons from the past games back into uh, Monster Hunter 3 U here. So that is a pretty good thing. It'll have lots of content just because there's lots of monsters, new subspecies, and new weapons ever since uh, from the past game of uh, Monster Hunter Tri. So I'm just going to show you guys the sword and shield here and go through the other equipments for you guys in this video. So I believe this is the Bariath set here, Bariath gear. Uh, the controls for the game is exactly the same as it was for the Nintendo, uh, for the Wii, uh, in Monster Hunter, uh, Tri. So some gears did get changed up for their appearances. As you can see here, the Bariath gear, uh, I'd say looks a whole lot better than it did in Monster Hunter Tri. The sword is a bit different as well. As for the attacks of the sword and shield, the attacks are pretty much the same thing. Uh, there's really nothing different. And just so you guys know, I have, I did play this game on the Nintendo Wii U uh, gamepad, and it pretty much is the same as just using a classic uh, pro. There really isn't much difference at all. So moving on here, we get the duels, the dual blades here. This is a new class added uh, to uh, Monster Hunter 3, which is the Dual Blades. Um, it wasn't in Try. And another note is that this, I believe this is the Gubble Gear. Showing a few moves that this, uh, these weapons can do. Then they have like this little buff up uh, skill that does take up stamina. But by also activating that, um, they also the the dual blades also gets like this quick little dash here uh, that does take the spot of your roll. Uh, which is, is decently good. It's a lot faster than the normal roll, uh, of course, but it does you know, drain up your stamina very quickly. As you can see, you can only probably get a total of like two uh, two evades with the normal uh, stamina bar. Next up, we have the greatsword. Uh, this is the Azur Rathalos gear. I believe uh, it does have wings on it and stuff like that. I do think they did change up the Rathalos gear a little bit from uh, the past games. But the same thing with the Great Sword. There really isn't nothing different with the Great Sword. I'm just gonna show a couple of move sets here that you can do with the Great Sword. So nothing too different with the great sword. Uh, 
Next up, we've got the longsword here. I forget what gear that is. Uh, that I believe that was a arena gear in Monster Hunter Tri. Uh, but that is the uh, Rathalos longsword. The same thing with the longsword. The longsword did not really change at all. The moveset is still the same. Everything is pretty much still the same for the longer. So I'm going to note another thing here for this video. Um, I'm going to show you guys these new special bar. Alright, so here we are. So even though you have a full bar, uh, and you activate your special attack there, it still does drain your special bar. So keep note about that. I guess that is just so that you can't always spam that attack over and over and over. But here we are with the hammer. Uh, the hammer is pretty much the same thing as before. This is, I believe, this, these are, remember, these are the default gears that the demo provides for you already. Um, you can't actually look at the gear yourself because the, the equipment slot option is blacked out and you can't look at it. So this, I'm predicting on a few of these gears, this is probably the, uh, the Jaggy gear with the Ludroth hammer. So here's a new class to Monster Hunter 3 uh, from Tri. This is the Hunting Horn. I believe this is Giganix uh, gear here. This Hunting Horn does is kind of like a coffin. So really, I didn't really know what I was doing. I don't really know how to fight with this weapon at all, even though I have played it in other Monster. Hunter, I have played this weapon. And other monster hunters, I still did not really know how to use this weapon. There are the, those little notes up by your stamina bar that uh, that does change up your attack styles and stuff like that, but I don't really know. So here we are with the lance. Uh, this is the new uh, look for the Bariath, uh, or not the Bariath, the Bareth uh, gear here. The lance is pretty much the same thing. You still got your parry, and then your three hits, and your up hit, and you know everything's still the same for the lance. Next up, we've got the Gun Lance. So the Gun Lance was not in Monster Hunter Tri. Uh, they just added this uh, weapon back in. I believe this is the Lagia weapon, Lagris weapon, or however you pronounce it. So with this weapon, you have to reload the, you know, you see there's ammo up there. You have to reload that, which by blocking and pressing A, I believe, if I can remember, then you will reload. And then you can also do a quick reload after shooting the bullet out as well. And then you have a few combos that you can do. Uses up all the bullets in the in your lance here. You can see the gear for the Lagia stuff did change as well. Alright, so here we are with the switch axe. The uh, switch axe is basically the same thing, but what I want to note is the Sadius gear. The helmet did change. Uh, it kind of looks like a fox head, uh, a fox helmet now. So I'm just going to show a couple of the things you can do with the switch axe. Which is basically the same thing you could have done with it in uh, Monster Hunter Try. You can still switch it over to the sword. Alright, 
so moving on, we have the light bow gun here. I believe this character is wearing the uh, Ludroth gear. Kind of looks weird compared to the other game. Uh, compared to Monster Hunter Tri. But the light bow gun is pretty much the same thing as, as it's always been. Has its own third person aiming. And then it also still has the first person aiming. So there's really nothing any different with the light bow gun. Next up we've got the heavy bow gun. Uh, the gear that this character is using, I believe this is the Rathalos gear. I'm not very certain about it, but you know, red does usually mean Rathalos. So same thing with the heavy bowgun here as with the light bowgun. Uh, nothing all too different. Basically the same thing as it's always been. You've still got your third person aiming. And you've also still got your first person aiming. So then last but not least we have the bow which is another new weapon to Monster Hunter 3 uh, from coming from Tri. So from other games I have been I have played with the bow uh, a little bit and uh, there are different you know you can see how each charge there uh, the longer you hold it each charge does have its own different unique uh, abilities such as piercing scatter stuff like that stuff like kind of like how the how the uh, bow guns have their scatter shots piercing shots and stuff like that that's what the bow that's what the bow itself the ability can be it depends on which bow you grab or create and stuff like that each bow also has its own element on it already So that is the equipment video for the Monster Hunter 3U demo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really like this outfit right here by the way. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.